Okay, this video is just uh, three examples of simplifying with exponents. And this is using um, the rule where if we have an exponent to a negative, that we say 1 over x to that po uh, to now the positive exponent. So this is the rule that we're going to be using for these examples. For this video, um, I would encourage you to um, stop after each example and um, write down the example and try to solve it on your own or to simplify it rather on your own. And then resume play and look at the solution to see if you did it accurately. Alright, so our first example is 4x cubed divided by y to the negative 2. Okay, now because I have this base to the negative exponent, I know that I'm going to have to use that rule where I need to say 1 over y squared. And since y to the negative 2 is currently being, uh, is currently in the denominator of a fraction, I'm going to rewrite this horizontally so I can get a better view. So that is just going to be 4x to the third divided by y to the negative 2. Okay, so now I can see that I'm working with 4x to the third divided by 1 over y squared. And remember, this 4x cubed is over 1. So now I have two fractions, and I'm going to use my rules for dividing fractions. And that rule is that I multiply and flip. Okay, so I'm going to flip this one. So I have 4x cubed times y squared over 1. So 4x cubed times y squared is 4x cubed y squared. And 1 times 1 is 1, so I don't need to write that. So 4x cubed divided by y to the negative 2 simplified would be 4 times x cubed times y to the 2. Alright, our next example. 6 times a to the negative 2 times x to the negative 3. Okay, so I have two different bases here. I have a to the negative 2 and I have x to the negative 3. And I am multiplying. Okay, so I'm going to use my rule for the a to the negative 2 and the x to the negative 3. Okay, my 6 doesn't change, and remember that is basically 6 over 1. And I'm just going to put everything in parentheses so I can keep them separate, but keep in mind that I am multiplying. Okay, so a to the negative 2 simplified would be 1 over a squared, and x to the negative 3 simplified would be 1 times x cubed, okay? Now I'm just going to multiply 6 times 1 times 1 is 6. And 1 times a squared is a squared times x cubed is a squared times x cubed. So 6 times a to the negative 2 times x to the negative 3 simplified is 6 divided by a squared times x cubed. Alright, the next example. 3 to the negative 3 over x to the negative 2. So now in both my numerator and my denominator, I'm going to have to apply my rule. And so again, I'm going to write them horizontally so that I can easily see them. And see that I have 3 to the negative 3 that I need to apply my rule to and x to the negative 2 that I need to apply my rule to, and again it's division, okay? So now I have 1 over 3 cubed divided by 1 over x squared. So now I have two fractions that are being divided, so I follow my rules for dividing fractions. So I need to multiply and flip the second fraction. So 1 over 3 cubed times x squared over 1. And now I simply multiply. 1 times x squared is x squared. And 3 cubed times 1 is 3 cubed. And of course I can simplify my 3 cubed. So we have x squared 